in this video, we're going to look at the concept of balancing chemical equations for your chemistry exam. After going through this video, I guarantee you guys that you'll be able to balance chemical equations for the chemistry. All right, so ensure you stay the very end of this video because this is a very, very important aspect of chemistry. Balancing of equations, one of the foundations of chemistry. Okay, so having noted this, let's go into the details of the video. All right, now let's begin with this typical example. All right, now let's say we are given magnesium reacts with oxygen molecule and we have to give two moles of magnesium oxide. Okay, now I have to balance this chemical equation. So how do you go about this? Now know that in balancing the chemical equation, we make use of what we call atom count. All right, so in our previous video on compounds, I showed you guys how you can count atoms in elements or in a compound now to make use of atom counts here to balance this chemical equation now in the chemical equation we usually have the left hand side and the right hand side so this is the left hand side and this is the right hand side all right so the number of atoms at the left hand side have to be equal to the number of atoms at the right hand side okay so let's balance this equation now here we have one atom of magnesium and here we have two atoms of magnesium now note that whenever you see a number beside a compound or an element now that number will be for the atoms of every element in that compound or will be for that element alone if there is just one element no two elements okay so here now these two number we have here is for the atoms of both magnesium and oxygen okay so here now we have two atoms of magnesium and on the left we have one atom of magnesium so this shows us that to balance this equation at the left we need to add two atoms of magnesium as well so right now we have two atoms of magnesium and we also have two atoms of magnesium so magnesium is balanced let's take oxygen we have two atoms of oxygen and we also have uh, two atoms of oxygen because these two is also covering this oxygen here so the equation is now uh, balanced okay so it's as easy as that now note that don't go and do something like this for instance let me repeat this question again okay now if you have to balance this equation now that you know that you have to add to atoms for this magnesium to balance the equation don't go instead of putting the two here okay don't go and put it here all right this is chemically wrong all right this is very very wrong and whenever i want to add an atom to an element or a compound always add it beside okay and not below or at the base of the elements or compound okay so take notes of this this is wrong this is the right way to do it okay so now having known this foundation let's look at another typical example and balance the chemical equation balance the chemical equation very interesting now let's wipe this okay now what if you are giving this chemical equation to balance we have sulfuric acid plus sodium hydroxide all right so we can say we have the sodium hydroxide to give sodium sulfate plus water i asked to balance this chemical equation now let's do it together remember we're going to make use of atom count okay so let's begin with hydrogen now we have two atoms of hydrogen here we have one atom of hydrogen here making it three atoms of hydrogen at the left and we have two atoms of hydrogen so we need to balance hydrogen at the right so to do this let's see let's add three here or even if we add two here if we add two here now if we add two yeah these two now multiply these two at the base of this hydrogen now be four atoms of hydrogen at the right this place is elementary okay you see that it's not balanced all right now to balance that of hydrogen now at the 
left you need to add two atoms here at the left okay so when you do this hydrogen will not be balanced okay so we now have these two plus this two here we now make it four okay hydrogen is now balanced we have four atoms of hydrogen at the left we have four atoms of hydrogen at the right so hydrogen is now what balance now to balance that of sulfur let's go to sulfur we have one atom of sulfur here we have one atom of sulfur here. sulfur is balanced for oxygen we have four here this four plus remember these two we also have paired this oxygen here so four plus two give us six we have total of six atoms of oxygen at the left now at the right for oxygen we have six as well all right this four here plus remember these two here these two we have used to affect this oxygen here okay so four plus two give us six oxygen is not balanced all right which other thing do we need to balance so all the elements okay for sodium let's balance sodium we have two atoms of sodium here we also have two here so sodium is balanced so the equation is not balanced let me rewrite it so the balance equation is now h 2 s o 4 plus 2 n e o h okay we are to give sodium sulfate all right as a acid plus 2 h 2 o okay so this will be the balance equation we have four atoms of hydrogen we have four atoms of hydrogen one atom of sulfur one atom of sulfur we have six atoms of oxygen we also have what six atoms of oxygen we have two atoms of sodium and we also have two atoms of sodium okay so this chemical equation is now balanced all right so this is basically how you can balance your chemical equations all right so before we call this a class let me give you guys a practice chemistry question on this so let's write this okay so for your chemistry practice question what if we are giving this reaction or this equation higher plus chlorine molecule higher we ask with chlorine molecule to give ion theory chloride now feel free to pause this video and see if we can figure this out try to balance the equation okay let's do it together now to balance this chemical equation we have ion one atom of ion here and one atom of ion yes ion is balanced let's balance the chlorine now we have two atoms of chlorine here we have three atoms of chlorine so to balance the chlorine at the left side of the equation let's add something like let's add two here okay when we add two here we now have four my four atoms of chlorine on the left side we have two atoms of chlorine not balanced now what if we add two here all right you now have six atoms of chlorine because these two we multiply these three at the base okay now we now have six atoms of chlorine all right and we now have four here at the left it's still not balanced now to balance the chlorine we need to add change these two to three okay so we now have six atoms of chlorine at the left because this three we now multiply these two atoms of chlorine here at the base it will now be six atoms of chlorine and here these two multiplying this three we still have six so chlorine is now balanced and if we check ion is no longer balanced we have two atoms of ion at the right now so to balance ion at the left you need to add two here okay so the equation is now balanced so let's rewrite it. It's going to be two atoms of ion pairs with six atoms of chlorine to give two atoms of ion and six atoms of chlorine at the right. So this is ion three chloride. Okay. So this is basically you can do this. Hope you learned something interesting for this video. Now let's call your class here. Yeah. If you are new to the channel, make sure you check the description of this video below for link to our Telegram channel. Click on it and join your Telegram channel for Islam notification. Also ensure you are subscribed to this channel by hitting the subscribe button for more videos like this. Like, share, comment on this video. 
Tell me how you feel from what I learned from this class. If you seem to have any specific questions asked regarding this topic, feel free to give your question in the comment section below and I should give you a response. Now I click on the end screen above and I see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.